Now, what we can have a look at, uh, which I'm, I'm sure you're dying to, uh, is the actual overview. We'll go back to the undirected. What well, first of all, uh, what we'll do is now, if we click on the overview, we can actually start to see the graph. So this is the uh, output of all the nodes and the edges. So the nodes are the, the circles and the edges are the, the, the lines between them. Now you might be thinking, well, what does this mean? I'm actually going to spend uh, um, a little bit more time in another video later on uh, explaining the difference between the, um, or how you can interpret the, uh, the, the graphs. This particular vlog really is just giving you an insight into importing the data but you still need to understand a little bit uh, about the um, the graph that that's produced one of the things that I suggest you do is uh, in the workspace is click on the T um, uh, and that will bring up the names now unfortunately uh, which is a bit of a bugbear for, for me and if I click on the so T here to get the names and then on the right hand side here uh, if I move it across, I can make the names uh, a bit smaller. The, the the bugbear for me is that um, the names are embedded actually within the circle, so it does make it a little bit difficult to uh, view. I've looked at um, some of the discussions on the forums that have taken place, and there still really isn't a, uh, a means of reducing it. It is on the Gephi wish list to, uh, to, to be sorted, I believe. So uh, an update might occur uh, at um, uh, uh, a different point in time. Now, you can see that uh, the lines are of different sizes. So these here are stronger than these. Uh, so if we look at uh, Frida to Warren and Frida to Daniel, um, or Daniela, uh, why, why is that um, stronger than Frida to Ahmed? Well, the reason is, if I go back to the data lab, uh, laboratory, um, you can see Frida and Daniela are both two. So that is the reason. It's the weighting that has caused the uh, increase in size of that particular line. We'll also see probably Mike, to, Mike 2 to Soraya. Uh, if I go to, there you go, Mike 2 to Soraya, that's got another 2. Um, now we've got here uh, Irma and um, Irma to Irma. Aha, this is a... Um, a self loop which I'm going to come to in a second but essentially there's four but you can't see a, a big line for Irma uh, on the, um, uh, the the workspace you've got Irma here but you can see a little dot sort of um, can you see that there like a, a an arrow pointing out and that's because uh, that is um, a connection between themselves now if we go to workspace 13 uh, I've done the same, I've added it in the, the, the T, you can take it off by clicking on again, I'll put it back on, and uh, I've reduced the uh, size of the uh, the label. I can also change the size of the, um, the lines as well uh, by moving this here. So we can see Soraya to Mike 2 is, is the one with the biggest, and that's because, uh, as mentioned earlier on, they have had the only two within here uh, two conversations you can sort it by clicking on that so I've got Soraya right at the top um, you've noticed uh, that's the weight and that's what Gephi picks out as the uh, ID for that particular column and it adds it together I put in here as an example weighted which is uh, different spelling, um, past tense. Uh, but from Gephi's point of view, it considers that as a totally different label. Now, if you if I'd call this weight, then it would have added these figures together. It wouldn't be ones that added. It would have added these figures in here. So that's a, an option which I'm going to cover again uh, a bit later in um, in the future. So just to finish off, I want to go back to um, this issue of self loops. 
Now, um, I'm going to uh, upload a new spreadsheet, and that's the self loop uh, example. And just before we do that, it may be worth just having a quick look at the self loop uh, option. So, as we saw, I've got um, examples of uh, edges between different nodes, but you can also have an edge connected to itself. And you might be thinking, well, what instance would that be in real life? An example could be uh, sending a tweet. So if I've sent a tweet, uh, it's from my social media handle and it's gone out. Uh, but I need to recognize that that's being done because I'm measuring the tweets uh, that have taken place. Um, there's no link because there's no reply or there's no like uh, or there's no um, uh, retweet that, that has taken place. So uh, it's uh, that, that's a, um, an example of a potential self-loop. So here we can see in this particular example I've put uh, Irma doing uh, four connections to herself. Uh, now if we go back to uh, Gephi and uh, import that data, um, I'm now going to take out the self loops. No, I'll, I'll leave, it, leave it in first for a second um, uh, and append it to a new workspace. And if we go down, we can see Irma has four, a weighting of four. And that's because, as we saw earlier on, uh, there were four um, uh, examples of Irma communicating with, with herself. Now, if I do this again, but take out the self loop, so the self loop option, next, finish. So I'm going to uncheck the self loop option. If I go down to Irma, there is no Irma and Irma. Click on the weights. Smallest is one, highest is two. It has uh, taken out self loop. So that's that's one way of um, getting rid of that. So that's all I want to, um, to, to cover now. It's really just about um, uh, getting you familiar with uh, getting your data ready and uploading it into Gephi. Next time when we get together, what I'm going to do is spend uh, a little more time looking at the overview screen uh, and talking about the various uh, layer options, how to change the colors um, uh, in, in more detail. And then after that, I will spend time looking at the statistics uh, and what they, they, they actually mean. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, uh, do uh, subscribe or uh, like to my channel. Uh, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.